Hello beauties, my name is Eva and today I'm going to show you how I wear blue lipstick but this makeup will be perfect for any kind of lipstick you want to wear so this makeup will be excellent for any nude, red, burgundy, black lipstick uh, any colorful lipstick, green lipstick I don't know, metallic lipstick, lip gloss, whatever you want of course there's a lot of different makeups that you can wear with red or black lipstick etc but this makeup will match perfectly for any kind of lipstick you want to use so no matter of color or finish i already did my brows and i applied my base p louise base about brows do what you want if you wear more define brows do them if you wear more fluffy soft one do them this is up to you because the rest of the makeup is very basic and easy to do okay i'm going to zoom you in and let's go to do this quick really quick makeup i'm going to start with matte base shade as always under my brow area now what colors are we going to need I'm going to use browns, especially I suggest to use cool toned or neutral browns. I don't say that warm toned browns for sure won't match to lipstick that you choose, but probably in your collection you have more neutral and cool toned lipstick. For example, red that makes your teeth more white, that's cool toned lipstick. So if you want this makeup to match perfectly to any kind of lipstick, then I suggest to use neutral or cool toned browns because warm toned browns don't match to everything. If you're afraid of uh, using cool toned, use neutral ones, but cool toned browns on your eyes with warm highlighter, I am sure it will match together perfectly so don't be afraid to use cool tone believe me it looks great and if you really need something warm on your face highlighter gold perfect i will do this makeup more neutral so i'm taking light neutral brown now starting to define my crease of course how much intense this makeup will be is up to you the more intense makeup matches more to more intense lipstick but it's not the rule so don't worry you can do totally soft look apply very intense lipstick it will looks also very good and of course lower eyelid and you can absolutely end here if you want. I'm going to do step further because I want to define my outer corner even more. So I'm taking darker but still neutral brown and I'm going to define even more my outer corner. Of course, like I said, you don't need to do this as much intense as I do always up to you. I'm going back to this brush that I blend this lighter shade. I'm going to blend this. Now you can go absolutely more further and up a little bit black here. That's perfect for evening makeup. I'm going to stop here and I'm taking beige eyeshadow and I'm applying it on my moving part of my eyelid as you can see i'm going to do this soft cut crease so it's good if your base shade is really pigmented if you want to use shimmer all over your eyelid then do it but remember to use more neutral gold or champagne color not super super yellow gold because we still want this look to be more neutral or cool toned than warm i like to do this eye makeup totally matte because i can later with highlighter in my inner corner 
make it more shimmer or less shimmer and if you use shimmer now you can't actually change it later so I suggest to do your eyelid in matte because if you use matte lipstick you can always apply a little bit or a huge amount of highlighter in your inner cor corner and drag it on your eyelid but if you will use lip gloss or metallic lipstick matte eye will be perfect of course that's up to you um, I only tell you what choices you have and of course you can leave it like this or add eyeliner and I'm going to add eyeliner because eyeliner with a wink looks great with every kind of lipstick and if you do this smoky eye even less intense and very soft and add eyeliner mwah, perfect combination I don't need bigger wings so I'm going to leave it like this I'm going to use beige pencil on my waterline Now I will apply lashes and the rest of my face. The only thing is that your contouring, your blush, your highlighter is up to you. I'm going to do this my way, but this is what I will tell you now. This is absolutely up to you. You want very defined and intense contouring, do it. You want blush, do it. But remember, blush should matches to your lipstick. So maybe just do your contour and bronze your face. Not every blush matches to every lipstick. I will only bronze my face and contour. And I'm going to apply my highlighter, very neutral one. And I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. As you can see, I used a lot of highlighter. And I used Jeffree Star Skin Frost in shade Ice Cold, although it looks white on camera, for me it's very neutral because you need to look at this highlighter in person. If you look on this highlighter as I looking at it now, so it's very close, it looks more like beige, not like what? looks more like it looks more like this color right here and maybe if you have this palette you know that this shade it's beige of course but it's not white okay so this ice cold is also more beige than white so for me it's a very neutral shade and now let's let's check I'm giving my word that every lipstick every lip product will match to this look So, does this look much to every kind of lipstick? That's up to you. You give me your answers. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. <laughs> this is literally one of my favorite makeup when I want to give this full attention on my lips, when I want especially to wear blue lipstick that I love. In the next video I want to play with mini breaker palette because these covers just shut autumn for me so we're going to play with this eyeshadow palette and for now that's all if you have any questions of course or suggestions or requests leave those questions down below in the comments and as always 
I love you very, very much, and I see you soon. Bye.